It smells a lot like cat urine. Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday. It's hump day, midweek. Made it halfway through. We got two more days to go till the weekend. And I have been working today, trying to get things done. The craft cart is still out. Um, so I'm still working on the project I showed you yesterday. Uh, it'll usually take me for something the size that this will be probably about two or three days to get completed uh also i'm sure you're probably questioning this bag here uh because it is in a different language uh than english and these are actually guava flavored candies um that they're just little round balls with guava flavor uh, i absolutely love these things the only place that i can get them is this little asian market uh, I mean, sure, I can get them online, but um, that I can get them locally. There's a little Asian market that I can go to um, that has them for sale, and so I will go by and buy them. I bought those a while back, actually. I used to keep them at work on my desk, uh, and a lot of people would come by and like, steal candy. And if, if you've never had guava or if you've never had that candy, you don't really know what guava tastes like until you put it in your mouth. I personally like it, a lot of people don't, uh, and so a lot of people like to steal candy when you put it out on your desk. So I put something out that most people, if they steal it, I'm going to know they took it, uh, because usually there will be a wrapper and the candy itself in the trash can, because they didn't like it. And that's what they get for being nosy and doing that. So. Um, you can see my lunch plate. That's where I had me some salad. I'm trying to eat a little healthier throughout the day. So, but yeah, th so I loved doing that. I loved putting it out on my desk. Also, the guava, when that candy in particular, when you're eating it, it gives off a odor, uh, a smell, if you will, that for the consumer, you may not taste it. I don't taste it. But for for somebody else eating it and I'm near them, I can tell they're eating it. Uh, because it's distinct smell. Uh, to me, it smells a lot like cat urine. <laughs> uh, I know you're thinking, ooh, candy, that just sounds disgusting. Cat urine smelling candy. <sighs> Give it a try. I understand that it has some preconceived notions that it is not the greatest. But I quite like it. Quite like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's another dreary day outside. I don't know if you can tell. I'm like looking out the window. Let's see. Oh. Yep, you can kind of tell it. Also, you can tell that there's nobody else back there. It's just trees. You can see the road a little bit right there. Uh, but, whoa. But, uh, yeah, so it's another dreary day. It is raining again. It is cold outside again. <sighs> That's how I feel about today. What do you do? Other than sit around and work on beads. And, well, you know, actually do your job, too. I'm doing that in between. Uh, a lot of what I do for my job, I can actually multitask very well because some of it requires me to just sit and listen and not necessarily um, physically have to look at a screen for long periods of time. Uh, so I can actually, or even if I'm looking at the screen, I can still do it because I've got the pattern down in my head to the point I can just boop, 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 without even worrying about it. And no, I'm not repeating what I just did. So enough of that, enough of me. Let me show you what I've got done so far. All right, so this is where I've gotten to so far. You can see my bent needle. Uh, I bend needles really easily. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute because it's not a normal needle. Uh, but it's quite lengthy. There's the end I started with. That is the end I'm working on now. Uh, so it's quite long. It's almost, almost to the point where I'm ready to start working on the second portion of it, uh, which will be the pieces that go underneath. Uh, I mean, you can leave something like this plain, but I like to embellish it more and make it a little more decorative uh, because that's just my style. The needle that I was mentioning, um, let me see if I can get my, cam my camera. will probably not focus on the needle. No, it won't. So, yes, my needle is bent. You can see my piles of beads right there. Uh, my mom would freak out over that, by the way. Uh, my mom beads, and that's how I kind of picked up on it. And uh, she would freak out because she keeps hers so organized when she's working. Uh, but, yes, my needle is not a standard needle. It's much thinner. It's also bent, uh, but that's my own doing. Um, 
but this needle actually splits open uh, so that it's, it's an easy thread needle and it's absolutely amazing uh, because I don't have to thread it through an eye. I just open the thing in half, slip the uh, wire through or the, in this case, the, uh, the line through and it closes back up and keeps it right snug in place. I know that's exciting, right? But if you like beading or if you want to get into it, that's 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 the best way to do it because I tell you I used to thread my eye needles and it would take forever to do uh, but yep that's it each one of those little beads I've hand picked and stitched and I've got more work to do on it so let me get back to it <laughs> 